Hello YouTube, and I'm here to do what I usually do, and tell you guys what the Annies got wrong this year. Because, they messed up on a, quite a few things, as far as the kids' cartoons go, and the movies. Now, let's explain what the nominees were. First of all, Best Animated Feature, Anno Melissa, which I haven't seen, so I'm not counting. In fact, the only one I've seen here is Inside Out, which I think deserves to win no matter what. Although I heard the Peanuts movie is pretty good. That's all fine and dandy. Let's see, not nothing for Best Animated Special Production. Nor a short subject. Um, not the commercials. Um, and I'm skipping preschool too. Alright, the exact category that I am looking at mainly today is Best Animated Television slash Broadcast Production for Children. Now, while I. W so here are the nominees Clarence, Turtle Hats, Guardy Falls, Not What He Seems. Harvey Beaks, A Date of Not To Do. Sanjay and Craig, Street Dog, why was this show nominated? Star Wars The Forces of Evil, Episode Blood Moon Fall, haven't seen that, but I've heard it's probably really good. Steven Universe Jailbreak, Wonder Over Yonder, The Breakfast. I've got a lot to talk about, because here's the thing. With the exception of a few of these shows, not many of them really are the big cartoons right now. The big cartoons right now, in my opinion, are Steven Universe, Gravity Falls, Star Wars Rebels, Adventure Time, as far as comedy goes, Gumball, and that's about it. I'm going to, and the new TMNT, of course. And the majority of those, oh, and Star vs. the Force of Evil, I can say that is a good, is a great show, or good at least. I've never been the biggest fan of it, even though Eden Share is awesome. Anyway, once again, as I'm gonna say, a Clarence is a good show. It shouldn't be here, okay? Gravity Falls episode, nobody seems is one of the few agreements, and. Based on how they went last year, I think this is going to be what's going to win, even though Jailbreak is probably just as good as it. I mean, Jailbreak had one of the best songs and fight scenes I've ever seen in my life. Let's see. Harry Beaks is a, a show I said it looked horrible, and from the first few episodes I saw, yeah, it wasn't that great, honestly. Although I did see the one with the dance, and it surprised me. Like, it surprised me with how well they could pull something off. I think I need to give this show a second shot. Um, Sanjay and Craig does not deserve to be here. It's a bad show, and it's getting the award over something like We Bear Bears or Star Wars Rebels. Two much more deserving shows, by the way. At least they... No new Teen Titans Go is trash this year. Star Wars The Force of Evil, I've talked about. Steven Universe is a complete gem and one of the best shows ever made. Wonder Over Yonder. Same camp, same camp as Star Wars The Force of Evil. However, a little worse, in my opinion. I have never cared that much for Wonder Over Yonder, but I've heard it's good, so it probably is. So, what do I have to say on the scape? The Annies missed a lot of good shows and put bad shows on there instead. And I can almost guarantee either Gravity Falls or Steven Universe's victory. If not, I will punch myself in the face. But, no, that's my reception response to that. I personally think they failed this year, yet anything powerful on the lineup aside from two shows. It's going to be a two-way competition then. 
like they avoid Star Wars Rebels, yet put a show as hated as Sanjay and Greg on it. And the bad news, Breadwinners is actually on the list a little while later. The new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles does not make the list, despite being a pretty darn good show right now. For example, they have had some great action, and it's Nick's true um, Lee only good animated show right now. Anyway, I think I've talked too long. The Entertainment Lord is out.